everyone. So I'm going to show you how to create your class newsletter if you're wanting to. So the final product will look like this. So we're going to create um, your class newsletter and I'm going to show you all of the um, different things that you can do on here um, and how to get something to look like this if you would want to create a newsletter. So the first thing you have to do is you have to open up a um, Google slide, so a new Google slide. And I'm not liking this page set up, so I want to change my layouts to be um, more, um, not landscape, more portrait. So I'm going to go to my file page setup and I'm going to hit custom. And I'm going to change it to, let's see, I'm going to change it to 18 by 24. Let's see what that does. Okay, there we go. So I changed it to 18 by 24. So now it's more of a landscape um, or a, more of a portrait instead of landscape. So it's more of a newsletter type format. I'm going to delete the um, text boxes because I want to start from scratch. Okay, the first thing that you're going to want to do is change your background. So to change your background, there's two ways you can do it. You can either go to the background on your Google Slides and either choose a color, you can choose a gradient, or you can choose an image from either your uploads, your Google Drive, or you can do an image search. Um, and you can get a uh, background like that. Or you can go to another tab and type in google.com and you can uh, find a picture that you want and save it to your um, computer and then upload it into your background. But for me, I'm going to change it in backgrounds in Google Slides. So I'm going to go to backgrounds. I'm going to hit choose image. I'm going to look for maybe like a color abstract. Okay, I'm going to go down here because you don't want it too busy. I like this one. This one's not busy and it's it's super bright. There we go. Okay. You don't want to get it too busy or they're not going to be able to see your wording on the uh, newsletter. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you want to add your title. So you can either add a shape so it, your title stands out or you can just add the word art. So I'm going to add the shape to just show you guys. So I'm going to go to shape. I want to do a shape and I'm going to choose just the rectangle. And I'm going to draw the rectangle across. Okay. Let me make it the size that I want. Okay, I don't like that color of the rectangle, so I'm going to go to the fill color, and I'm going to choose, let's just choose, let's choose purple. There we go. Okay. All right, after you get your box for your um, title up, you want to insert wording. So you can either double-click inside of your box, and you can change the size, and you can just type in my newsletter. Or if you want to have something more word arty, you can go to insert word art and I'm going to type in Amaya News. There it is. It pops up. Now you can make this as big as you want and then you can change your um, format or your uh, font. You can change the color of the font. I'm going to just do yellow. Let's see what that looks like. No, I don't know if I like that. I'm just going to do black. There you go. Amaya News. Okay. So you could change anything on your word art just like you can with a text box, but it just makes it look a little nicer because it's bigger. Okay. The next thing you want to do is get your boxes for your sections. So you're going to do the same thing we did to get this box for the background. You're going to go to the shapes and I'm just going to choose the rectangle again. You could choose anything you want and you're just going to draw your shape. So the first one I want to draw is like my reminders. So I'm going to make it like that. Now, I don't like it to be colored like that. I want it to be transparent. So when it's clicked on, you're going to go to the fill color and you'll hit transparent. Now, you want to get the lines around to be a little thicker. So you're going to go to the border weight and I'm going to choose maybe a four. And then you're going to change the color to black or whatever color you want. And then I like a little dash. So I'm going to choose a dash. And there you see it. It's right there. It's ready to be used as one of my uh, boxes. Now, to be able to duplicate this box so you don't have to figure out what the border size is and what the color is, you can just make sure it's clicked and then hit Control-D and it duplicates it. 
control D, it duplicates it. So that way you're not having to reinvent the wheel to try and figure out what the size of the dashes are and whatnot. Then you want to get your layout of your boxes. So I'm going to just duplicate this one because I like this, this size. I'm going to put it over here. Make it look pretty. Okay. Then I want to get another long box. I'm going to duplicate that. Okay. And then I'll get another box like this. I'll duplicate that. There you go. Now we have our newsletter boxes. If you want to add another box over here, you can, but I like to make this one maybe a little bigger and then I can add my Bitmoji at the end, like the um, one I showed y'all. So after you get your boxes, you want to give them a section heading. So the one that I did when I created mine, I used the word art. Okay, I'm going to choose, I'm going to do reminders. I'm going to put that one at the top, make it smaller because you don't want it to be too big, but you also don't want it to be too small. There you go. I'm going to change it to white. And I don't like that font, so I'm going to change the fonts. There we go. Okay. Now you'll have to play with this to make sure that you can get it right where you need it to be. Okay. Now I'm going to duplicate that and I'm going to add it down here. I'm going to double click inside and I'm going to change it to math. Okay. I'm going to duplicate another math or another word art and I'm going to change this to ELAR for English language arts and reading. Okay. I'll duplicate it again. I'll change this one down here to be science and social studies. There we go. And then I'm going to duplicate it again, and I'm just going to add one that says teacher notes. So any other teacher, teacher note. Oop. There we go. Okay, so now that you have your, um, and you have to make it, you've got to figure out the sizing and all that that you want. Um, that'll just come with you playing around with it. Um, but for the time, for the sake of time, I'm just going to show you how to get these items on there. Okay, now I want to add uh, little pictures to my newsletter so that way it doesn't look so bland. So for reminders, I'd like to add like a little um, bell. So what you're going to do to add pictures is you're going to go to insert, image, search the web. I'm going to search the web and I'm going to hit, I'm going to type in bell. Transparent. Okay, so here's one that I like. I like this one. I'm going to click that one and I'm going to hit insert. Now you notice how I have... I typed in transparent. That means that it's not going to have a white background around it. And I don't like the white background. So I'm going to just copy that. I'm going to make it smaller. I'm going to add it to like the little corner over here. There's my little bell. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing for math, ELAR, science and social studies and teacher notes. So I'm going to go to insert image, search the web. I'm going to look for a math transparent picture. There we go. I'll just do that one. Okay, make it smaller, put it over here. Okay, I'm gonna shoot, look for a reading transparent. Okay, there's one, that's cute. Okay, put that one in there and see how it's bigger. You're gonna have to just make it a little smaller so it fits your, your boxes. And then I don't wanna have the border. You see how there's a border right around it? If that comes up, you're going to just want to click your image and go to the border color and hit transparent and it'll be gone. Okay, science and social studies. Let's find maybe a world map. So world transparent for science or for social studies. And then science, I'm going to want to maybe do like a little beaker. Okay, now remember these sizes of these pictures and the sizes of your word art, you'll just have to change um, based on your preference okay so i'm just trying to show you how to get all of the images on there do a beaker there's a beaker transparent that one's cute okay and then maybe for the notes section i'll do like a little pencil so pencil transparent okay there we go get that one insert 
Okay, so now you have all of your pictures, all of your boxes, all of the items that you want. Now remember, you can add to your title if you want to add like maybe the um, maybe the date of when this newsletter comes out. So if you want to add the date, you could just go to insert either a text box and add it right under, or you can do another word art and type in maybe August 25th, 2020, or week of August 25th. And then you can just move it up, change the color, and you can change the font however you want. There's endless, endless possibilities on doing your newsletter. Okay, the last thing, I left a little box because I wanted to add my Bitmoji. So when you want to add Bitmojis to your Google um, Slides or any of your presentations, you want to make sure you have the extension downloaded. So all you have to do is just go to your app store and go to uh, the web store and type in extension or Bitmoji extension and it'll pop up right there. It's a green um green little guy, okay? So when you want to add to your newsletter, you'll just go to the Bitmoji, Bitmoji extension. And I like the pencil one, but you can choose any that you want. And all you have to do is either right click and copy, and then you can paste it into your newsletter. Or you can just drag the one that you want. So I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to drag it over. It's creating my image. And there it is. So no more copying and pasting. Now, I don't like it flipped this way. I want it to be flipped to the left. So to do that, you're going to just make sure it's highlighted. You're going to right click, rotate, flip horizontally. And there it goes. The image was flipped. Okay. Now, some people like to, like to make this into their background. So that way, they all they have to do is add text boxes instead of being um, worried that they're going to delete something off of their newsletter template. So to do this, you can go to File, Download, Download, Download as a PNG image. It's a nicer image. It comes out clearer. Your PNG image will pop up on the bottom of your screen. You want to add a new page, and you're just going to drop in the PNG image. It's the already the correct size. There you go. So now when you're editing this or you want to send it to somebody, you don't have to worry about them deleting all of the images off of the screen. All you'll want to do is just add a text box to your sections of your newsletter and then change the size, and then you can type in reminder, don't forget your forms for first week of school, okay? And there it is. Now you don't have to worry about changing anything on your document. There are endless possibilities. This is just a start. Um, have fun creating your own newsletter. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.